I need antidotes like I need marijuana. I need all your antidote or belong to me. All 99. No, I'm just gonna buy a couple. Hey guys, it's Snag Transfer. Welcome back for more Pokemon Leaf Green. Wait, did I buy them? Did I buy any of them? No, I did not. Wow, I'm brilliant. Welcome back for more Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last part, we had a long episode where I just battled Snorlax a third of the time, and I just, um, battled a couple of bikers where they keep poisoning me, and I had to go back to the city to heal. Anyways, in this part, hopefully we're gonna actually make it to the next city like we were supposed to in the last episode. Okay, let's see what we can do this time. Get on my epic bicycle! Yeah, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Scones! I like scones! Okay. So the gimmick with this place is that the bike will actually move by itself and you'll actually be able to go back up. But you'll go back up very slowly, so that's the only problem with this thing. Now there's bikers are all around here and there are signs match up for discarded items. If I had the item finder, I would be able to find some of those, but it doesn't really matter. Train tips. All Pokemon are unique. No crap. Even Pokemon of the same species and level grow at different rates. No crap. It's because of nature's. It's how you feel that makes you grow. Press the B button to stay in place while on a slope. Okay, so I press the B button, I'll just stay in place. Very nice. Uh, what does this say? What does this sign say? Route 17, Salazan to Fuchsia City. Fuchsia, huh? We're going to Fuchsia. We're going to Fusion. Fusion! Ha! Okay. What do you say? Notice, don't throw the game. Throw Pokeballs instead. Yeah, I sometimes actually throw the game too, because I get so checked at this game, because... Why won't you catch? So it's kind of conflicting. Okay, what does this sign say? Does it say it's fuchsia? Did I move too much to not be able to read signs? Cycling road. Slope ends here. Very nice. I already knew that, though. Because I wasn't forced to go this down, down this way, but whatever. Okay, let's go up here and see if there's any aids up here. Hello, Professor Oak's aids. No? There's a little boy up here. I'm looking for the Pokemon Slowbro. I'm going to trade for my Lickitung. Lickitung. The only place where you can actually find it. It's a normal type. I would not recommend it because it has a long tongue. It's ugly as hell, and its stats aren't that good, so... If you want to lick a tongue, that's the only place you can get it. Wouldn't recommend it, like I said before, but yeah. Anyways, there are a whole bunch of bird trainers right here. I'm actually going to battle them just for the sake of the video and uh, my experience, because we're actually pretty underleveled for now. I mean, there was this pretty big gap with the levels right here. They don't really tell you exactly where to go, so there's no, like, 100% direction where you're supposed to go and level up and train and all that crap, so... Yeah, you're pretty much just left guessing right around this area. <coughs> So what I might actually do is go back on that route and actually battle all those, um, bikers. But I won't do that on screen because I know you guys have been like, Oh my god, just get to the next damn town already! So, yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna take out a couple of these bird guys. All of them, actually. That way I can fill up the episode. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting in fillers. <laughs> I'm filtering the episode I should do. That's what I should do, not put in fillers. I should filter. Okay, Firo. The evolution of Spiro. Oh, ironic, don't you think? Uh, very good, good Pokemon. Recommend it, like I said, when I actually introduced Spiro. So, yeah, you really do want this little guy. He's not that little Lizzy. Actually, pretty cool. Don't really like it. I prefer uh, Pidgey. Evolutionary chain, so whatever. Anyways, we're catch your Wil Wilton. <laughs> Seasoning. Anyways. Uh, let's battle you. This is my turf. Get out of here. My turf? Your little turf of grass. Yeah, you can have that little turf of grass over there. That's fine. I get the rest of the canto. What do you think of that, huh? <coughs> Jerk. <coughs> Maybe you should watch what you say a little more often, huh? I get the rest of the canto, and you get this little patch of grass. Yeah, that's that's real balanced. Oh, I use pursuit. I said pursuit. <coughs> pursuit actually follows you if you actually uh, switch out your Pokemon. So. When I just switched out there, it was still able to hit me with the Pursuit. Pursuit, Pursuit is a Dark-type move, and it only it has 20 base power, so it's not that strong. However, it did do a lot of damage to Grins, because it is at a pretty low level for where we are right now, so, yeah. Not sure, but I think it might be able to do another Pursuit on Grins here. I don't know if it, this one has Pursuit or not, so cheers hoping it doesn't. <coughs> Let's see. Okay, good, it didn't use Pursuit, good. Very, very good. Aerial Ace, I already knew. Introduce that, I mean, seriously. Why do I need to say things twice? Saying things twice isn't important, unless you guys just have no idea what I'm talking about. Or if it's a difficult concept to understand, like uh, they don't do in school. They really should. I mean, seriously, say something twice if it's important. I mean, hello? Dude, seriously. 
<clears throat> okay, so Grinza is at level 22 right now. It should be close to evolving. I forget exactly what level it evolves at, but I think it's uh, level 25. Maybe 23. I don't 100%. Ah, oh, it knows Pursuit. The Pursuit of Happiness. This Pursuit is not making me happy, however. Uh, let's use a revive that I actually bought. Uh, let's get those revives. Where are those revives? I need a revive. I need one of those uh, electrifying thingy mit bobbers. I can't really remember the name of that thing, but whatever. A uh, life, life respirator or something? I don't, I don't really care. Okay, you're dead. That's all that matters to me right now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Die! Okay. I'm very demented right now, I don't know why. I guess I'm just tired. I'm like an old man, man. I'm like an old man, man. <laughs> nice sentence structure. Okay. Yay, more grins. We're just gonna grin all over the screen, aren't we? Man, this is taking forever. Okay, I'm gonna call you back. And we're gonna call out Daichu again. Because we just have the most original strategies. We call out Grins, and then we call out Daichu. Grins, Daichu. Grins, Daichu. Pursuit, Daichu. Getting tired of Pursuit. Why could you all be like that other Spiro that didn't use Pursuit? Seriously. You don't have to Pursuit happiness all the time. Seriously. I gotta stop saying seriously, but I'm so serious right now that it's not serious. Okay. Alright, Thunderbolt. And get rid of the Spiro. I don't like your Spiro right now, anyways. I used to like Spiro, don't like it right now because it's not that cool. Like Pidgey! Pidgey! Okay, darn. Yeah, that's what you get for marking your own turf. You jerk. Okay, let's bell you. Cool, cool! How do you like my bird call? Eh, it could use a little work, but whatever. We're not here to judge your bird calls. We're here to battle you because you're a jerk. And he only has one Pokemon, a Doug Trio. The trio is the evolution of Doduo, which we have not seen yet. Yeah, we actually got to see its evolution before we actually got to see the Pokemon. What the hell? But yeah. <coughs> Three-headed Pokemon. It's a bird. Uh, it's a flying normal type. Would recommend it, I suppose. I don't personally like it at all because it's ugly as hell. Uh, the three heads actually symbolize different emotions. Sorrow, anger, and I forget the middle one. But, um, yeah. Pretty unique Pokemon. The heads never agree with each other. I... I Often here. <coughs> so, yeah. We should be able to take it out pretty easy with Daichu, though, because, I mean, it's flying normal. Uh, there is a pure flying type in 5th gen. That is about the only pure flying type ever. So, ooh, you almost got rid of me, but I said no. I hung on with the skin of my teeth. I used Quick Attack. Okay, level 33. That was my cue right there. And agility. Okay, we're gonna make room for agility here. Let's see what I should get rid of. I want to get rid of Flash, but I can't. <coughs> hmm, this is a tough call on my part. I don't really want to get rid of... You know, screw agility. I don't want agility. I never use bulking up moves like that unless I absolutely need to. Um, no. Yeah, stop learning agility. Okay. And I wanted it to grow to level 33, that way it could at least show that last move. So, what I'm going to do right now, is since it grew to level 33, I'm going to use the Thunderstone on it. And our Daichu will evolve. Right here, right now, in this patch of grass where I shouldn't be. Take it the moment, guys, take it the moment. And our Daichu has now become a Raichu! Alright! Very sweet! Okay, then we're gonna go through here. And we are now in... Da -da -da -da, Fuchsia City. Awesome sauce. Okay, so they got a gym right here, smack out of nowhere. There's a lot to do in Fuchsia City, I've gotta say. I gotta say there's a lot to do in here. Okay. <coughs> but first off, what we're gonna do is heal our Pokemon. And for fighting all those goddamn trainers. Goddamn trainers with their dang Pokemon and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> My throat is getting so dry. Hang on, I'm gonna cut real quick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, let's check our team real quick. What should I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, we're gonna keep Grins out in front, of course. 
So that's what we need. Uh, let's check some of these houses, because I believe some of these guys actually give you something. Oh, yes, I'm the move deleter. Wow, I couldn't have ran into you like a few seconds ago and got rid of Flash. That way I can put agility there. Real great stuff, game. Real great stuff. Okay. Bill flies his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did he show you? No, he didn't, because he's a jerk. No, he did. What am I saying? I'm an idiot. His fire zone's warden is old, but he's still very much active. His, all his teeth are false, though. Yay, he's a president. Okay. Hmm, you met Bill? He's my grandson. He always liked collecting things, even as a child. Good for him. I really don't care, though. <laughs> I'm just in an off awkward mood right now. I don't know. Okay, uh, the warden's home. Hello, warden. His name is Warden Azoth. Um, more aliens? The aliens are here. The aliens are here. The aliens are here. The aliens are here. Okay. I'm the fishing guru's older brother. I simply love fishing. I can't go to bear without it. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes, I do. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. And we received the good rod from the fishing guru's older brother. With the fishing, with the good rod, you can actually catch a whole bunch more Pokemon. In the water, besides that stupid old magic carp that that old, uh, stupid fishing guru from before allowed you to do. Yeah, you can actually fish in his backyard and catch a couple of Pokemon. So, yeah. <coughs> We're just gonna leave the fishing guru's house. Or his older brother, anyway. That's how sibling rivalries work. The older brother is always better. Uh, the Safari Zone has a zoo in front of the entrance. Uh, the bag is a safari game for catching Pokemon. Oh, wait, we remember the Safari Zone from that old man on the uh, SSN, right? He was talking about this place. <coughs> There's absolutely nothing in this building, I don't think. <laughs> Warden Slowpoke. <coughs> Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. Oh my god. Nice. Very nice. I salute you, scientists. You're, you're just the best. All that research money is just going into the best. Eric. That's my name! Oh my god, I, they programmed me into the game! What the heck? Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here. Well, my name doesn't end with a K, so whatever. Slow plug. Very friendly, very slow moving. Aww, so cute. Uh, Chansey! Catching one is all up to chance. Yeah, so you can actually see some pretty rare Pokemon right here. They're actually in cages. What the heck? <coughs> Abusive Pokemon! This is a Lapras right here. AKA the King of the Seas. Pretty cool, I guess. Omanyte, they actually resurrected this guy. This is the one that we didn't get to actually see, so... Very nice of them to actually show that to us. Uh, we fought Giovanni, so we get to see this Kangaskhan right here. We already saw it. Uh, this is the Safari Zone. A Pokemon you catch, huh? Okay, so we'll go into the Safari Zone. I think we have to in order to complete this game. Alright, this is your first time here in the Safari Zone? Yeah, but we're not going to... Yeah, we're a regular, sure, why not? Just don't tell me all the stuff I need. Uh, 500 Poké Dollars, we can play the Safari game. So we want to play this. You have to play this. They give you 30 Safari Zones. Uh, 30 Safari Zones. Wow! Real nice. No, they give you 30 Safari bar Balls. And these are special balls that you can actually use to catch Pokemon in here. Now, the thing is, you cannot battle it when you're in the Safari Zone. So, what they instead do for you is, um, the Safari Balls actually have the chance of actually catching the Pokemon. They have a very high capture rate. So, you actually have to battle the Pokemon yourself. You're probably asking, like, how the heck do I damage them or anything? Well, you don't. This is how a standard battle works. Uh, there's an even random female right there. And what you can, you have three new options here. <coughs> you have ball, you can throw the ball at, directly at it. You can throw a rock at it, but the thing about the rock is it, um, makes it stay around, or, um, it makes it, gives it more of a chance of running away but um, gives you more of a chance of capturing it, or bait. it'll stay around longer, but it'll have a, more of a chance of running away. I mean, I'll have less of a chance of actually capturing it, though, so... <coughs> I'll just throw both of them to show you what they do. Okay, and then we're gonna throw the rod just to show what that looks like. I mean, the rock and the uh, bait actually look nearly the same, so yeah. And when you throw a ball, they actually show the animation for, um... Your trainer throwing the ball, so whatever. Anyways, we're just gonna go up here because there's actually quite a few items that you want to get in here. Wow, I didn't have to buy that leaf stone in Saladon City. Yay for redundancy! The game has just been doing that to me the entire time. Uh, TM11 Sunny Day. 
Uh, sunny day increases the weather effects to make it all sunny. Whoa! Kangaskhan? Really? Kangaskhan is very rare in this area. Okay, let's throw a rock at it. No, screw it. I don't care if it runs away. I'm just doing this for example. Yeah, let's throw a ball at it. I mean, seriously. Let's give it a shot, man. Let's give it a shot. And I said, hey, man, nice shot. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been so epic. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't want to catch it anyway. Screw you. I didn't want to catch you. Okay. And there's max potion over here. Increase it. Um, actually heals all of your HP no matter how much it is. Even if it's over 200. For 9,000! Full restore. I've already explained what that does. Uh, random house in the middle of nowhere. Yay, random houses. Uh, how many Pokemon did you cast? I'm Bush from the effort. Or Bush? Okay. I caught a Chansey! That makes this all worthwhile. Phew, I'm tired from all the fun. There's fun in this place? This place is murder for me. Okay. So yeah, there's actually a certain place that you want to get to before you, um, finish this off. Uh, let's see. Execute! Okay. So I'm actually going to catch this Execute. I'm going to have to try and catch at least one Execute in this entire place. I'm actually going to use it on my team. That's a thing. Okay, Execute. Get in my Pokeball. Let's see. One, two, three. Wow! One try. It's a one-hit wonder. Wow. Okay. So Execute. The Egg Pokemon. No crap. A foot high of four inches. Five pounds, four ounces. Five ounces. Five of our energy. It's often mistaken for eggs. Psst. When often disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. <coughs> These eggs look badass or something. I don't know what's wrong with them. But yeah, I'm going to be using it in my team, although my uh, Pokemon slots are all full right now, so I can't exactly hold on to it right now. But it doesn't really matter because I'm not even going to have the chance to battle. Uh, there's Parasect, the evolution of uh, Paris. I can't even bother with it because it sucks. Seriously. Uh, same types and everything, wouldn't really recommend it, like I said before. Anyways, <coughs> raining time declines only when you walk. So you get 500 steps when you actually enter this place, and when you use them all up, they'll just end your game. Hint, 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 something else. Um, and the game's over, and you have to uh, go through the whole thing all over again. So what we're going to do is go to a certain point. There's actually a point where you actually have to find... Um, a secret house and one HM, which we need to actually complete this game, so... Uh, Pokemon hide tall grass. No crap! A uh, little tip, if you actually want to find certain Pokemon without uh, wasting any steps, what you can do is just stand in one spot of grass and just keep moving around, back and forth, up and down, stuff like that, and you can actually find random Pokemon, and I found a Chansey, wow. I'm just getting lucky, aren't I? Uh, the thing about Chansey in the Safari Zone is it often has the chance of ha holding the item called a Lucky Egg. And what that is, is um, the Lucky Egg actually increases the uh, experience that you can gain from battles. So it's a very good item to have, but I didn't catch the Chansey, so whatever. And I turned and I ran into another Pokemon. Oh, Joyce! Uh, you can catch a Venonat over here. I don't know why you would, though. Unless you really like Venonats. Or it's evolution. Yes, it evolves. I haven't explained that. Who knows? Okay. And I think this is the part where we actually have to B. Right? We have to become an A. To turn into a B. Maybe a C. I don't know. Give a C a whatever. <coughs> Max revive. Fully restores the HP when you revive a Pokemon with that. Ah, I'm having a hard time firing, navigating through this place. Luckily, they give you plenty of steps to go through it, though. Another Max Potion. Very nice. I'm probably gonna have to make two th tri trips through this place because it's so vast and there's a lot to cover in here. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna run for away from that execute. I don't really want it. I mean, I already caught my execute for this time. Is this house rest house? Okay. What is this? Um, is there anything in here? Tossing rocks. Okay. Hiked a lot. I hike. Take a hike, pal. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we're just gonna leave because there's absolutely nothing in this place of value. <coughs> Pointless diver. Oh, no, I ran out of time. Okay. Well, I caught the Pokemon that I wanted, so it's not a f complete loss, I suppose. So, anyways, we're gonna go back into the Safari Zone in the next episode because I really need to go through there to actually get something that I really need. So what I'm going to do before I end off the episode is go back into the Pokemon Center and put uh, the new Execute into my team. That way we can raise it along with Grins. 
Okay, so if you like this episode of Pokemon Leaf Green version, please subscribe, favorite, like, or just comment. So I'll see you guys next time when I battled all those trainers on that route and gotten execute in my team. Okay, later guys. Take care.